This is the 2019 Mustang GT Premium Convertible. Today we're with our friends at Chuck Spaith Ford in beautiful New Ulm, Minnesota. Thanks so much for working with us on this beautiful 2019 Mustang GT Premium Convertible. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, two Guys in a Ride. ride. <laughs> boy, oh boy, do we have a ride for you today. Nathan, tell the folks what we got. Oh man, I tell you what, today we have one of my favorites. It's a 2019 Mustang GT premium trim level with some added options with the uh, five liter Coyote engine in it. Man, is it nice! Oh, yeah. So, stick around. We're going to take you and give you a review of this vehicle, all the specs, the features. Nathan will take you for a tour on the inside and we'll take it for a drive. So, what do you say, Nathan? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. So, today. It's, it's a sunny a, day. It's a beautiful sunny day. You can see we've got the sunroof open. Yes, it's, it's a, this is the ultimate in panoramic sunroofs. Because <laughs> what are we in, Nathan? We are in a 2019 Mustang GT convertible ah. with the uh, 5.0 Coyote engine. And the top is down. And it is a gorgeous day. Yeah. That just makes you grin, Nathan. It does. We, <laughs> I we, can't help we, it. We, We've, I think we what we, we did 10, 15 miles an hour so far, and we're still just we're grinning up. Listen. Yes. <laughs> there are times oh. that I do shut up. <laughs> that exhaust if we, is just nuts. If we could sit and just listen to that all day long, I will. That's it. I'll shut up. Now... Nice, comfortably padded headrest. I just got to experience those because they did set me back in it a little bit. I tell you, it is. Oh, you step on it and it goes, and it's it sounds terrific. That uh, exhaust is just well, wow. yeah, because you know, I usually think convertible. <laughs> you want the top down to enjoy the sun. No, I want the top and the windows down so I can hear that engine rumble. We're not doing very good with our poker faces today, are we? No. <laughs> I can't have a poker face on this car. No. I, 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 I'll confess, I, I love Mustangs. I've owned three of them. And, uh, but this is the first time in, in a brand new one with the, with the GT uh, Coyote engine. Have you ever had the eight cylinder? You've had no, sixes. I've had the okay. four cylinder and oh. I've, had, I've had two sixes. Yeah, and I'm not yeah. knocking the sixes. I have never, ever had an engine problem with my Mustang Yeah, no, they motivate the car well, but um, they don't sing to you on the way. Oh no, not like <laughs> this. Holy <laughs> buckets. What a beautiful, the problem is I can just keep going. That sound. Okay, so. I don't want to talk about anything else. the summer, you listen. can buy tickets to your local theme park. <laughs> or you can take that money and put it on a down payment on a GT uh, Mustang convertible oh. and have a thrill ride. And the kids will have smiles all over their faces all summer long. So I'm going to, there's three modes for steering. There's sport, comfort, and uh, let's see, what's the other one? Normal. So I'm going to put it in sport. I'm also going to switch the modes. Sport Plus. I, I, I don't have a chance here to, 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 to really try that, but I'm going to leave it there in case I do. Oh, oh here we go. By. So we're at a stop sign. We'll... Uh... Oh, my Lord. 
I could do this all day long. <laughs> all right, you got a roundabout, so you yep. get to try out the uh, the steering. Woohoo! Holy cow! Oh, this thing's on this rails. This is just grippy. Oh my gosh! Oh my lord! There's Woo. just Can no. we go the other way now to unwind me? <laughs> <laughs> so, so grippy. So, anyway, we're, All right, so we're actually here to review this car, and you know, we uh, we, we should supply you with bibs because we're just drooling and slobbering all over ourselves. This is so much fun. All right, so so real quickly, the, the, the you know the seats are very comfortable. I I, I like it. I like the I like the tall headrest. You know, yeah, I've used them a couple of times. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> I love it. Uh, you know the the. Uh, Rob will talk to you when he drives a little bit more about acceleration, but you've already seen what a. Oh. We'll go ahead and talk about it. It is it is just nuts. I mean, I haven't yet put it to the floor. Oh no. Um, well, we're in town as well, so it's kind of hard we, to do that. Um, it's amazing. And there are it, it is it is like going to a theme park and riding on a wild roller coaster. <laughs> I, it's just what a drive. So am I going to get the drive? You are here. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull over and let well, Rob you, drive. Well, you, you need to tell um, us a little bit more. About okay, what do you so think, I already so. talked about acceleration. That's just nuts. Right. Uh, that's just off the charts. Uh, the braking is, is is nice. I I, I mean I'm I. It's, it's not over. Very it's not, capable. But it, it's not touchy though. Oh no, that's what I mean. It's yeah. not. It's it's just very normal feeling. It's like okay, I don't feel like I have to be easy on the brakes or or uh, or extra hard on them. Right. Um, they're really nice. Um, a nice combination. I mean, it makes you feel very secure. And uh, so I'm, I am actually going to pull over here for a minute, and because we're going to let Rob drive. And uh, but the um, the headroom, folks, is unlimited. <laughs> Never have a better headroom than this, in this the car. And back. <laughs> and uh, and I'll admit there is a little road noise with the top down, but uh, other than that. It's quiet. All right. Do I have to get out? Oh. Wow. I'm not even getting into it, and this is a uh, good morning neighbors type <laughs> of car. <laughs> it, it does have a quiet start mode. Oh, okay. And, yes, in case you don't want to annoy your neighbors when you're getting up early in the morning. But I'm sure that can be disabled. <laughs> uh, yes, it can be. It can be, and you can be very loud starting up if you want. All right. Just the people go and test drive one of these i mean you're going to buy it but even if you don't you're going to come away with a smile i don't even want to talk over the sound uh. <laughs> you know and the ride feels nice you know, just yeah. just the overall quality of the ride. I, I don't feel like I'm riding in a rock stiff. No, it's car very, with suspension. The it's, seats are are super soft, but support if you got some bolsters on the side. But the suspension so far. Now we have been in town, uh, but still the suspension has been extremely compliant too. Oh yeah, very comfortable. Very comfortable. I just the right size steering wheel, and it's got the little uh, thumb bumps on it for the grip. I like those. That's really cool. Leg room. Legroom is legroom. Oh, it's man. plenty here and uh, plenty of legroom. And like any other Mustang convertible, uh, the rear seats will work for an adult for a very short distance. And uh, if you have a kid, Whoa. well, my feeling is it's a Mustang convertible. That's right. If your friends want to go along, if they want to complain about the they need leg to go buy one the themselves. Back, get out. <laughs> <laughs> That's just more chatter to cover up that but it does work for kids i i transport my girls in mine and if you do give up a little leg room who cares you're enjoying the sun and an open That's top right. uh, mustang convertible uh, that will just oh man sing to you all right we're, all right we're at a road closed and we can just kind of do a little quick takeoff just to hear the sound one more time Oh. And that oh. was 257. And we're back in a 45, so I'll slow it back down, and that's what we're at. Wow. Did you hear that crack? <laughs> 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 
How many uh, cards this year have we said we're not taking back? <laughs> a, a few. And this is one of them. Add this one to the list. So, Al, who, who's, who, who's my salesman, um, like I told him when we left the dealership, if I'm not back by Tuesday, just send me a sales bill. Send the paperwork to the house. <laughs> Folks, we haven't even checked out the stereo. There's no need. We're not even if looking it, at that stuff. We're just didn't enjoying even the come ride. Standard with a stereo, you'd be like, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Cause listen, Beethoven could never do this. <laughs> oh. That We just hate talking over that. <laughs> uh, but in all seriousness, folks, <laughs> we're not going to be serious <laughs> because how can you? But you, we're, we're, I know we're acting like we're 16, 17 years old with our first car a year with a with a, a four-cylinder engine and a set of glass packs. Bah, 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 bah. But it's 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 awesome. It's it's authentic. It's muscular. Uh, it's it's really it's an extremely comfortable ride. If it wasn't yeah. even adding in the beautiful acoustics that you get with that uh, that tailpipe and that beautiful oh. engine, man, oh man, yeah, what so, a joy to drive. Let me tell you, yeah. it's just fun to ride in. It's just fun. I, I, I was mean, okay that you were driving, but I know if I said that you'd, you'd still be driving. I don't want to I'd drive. I'd still be so. driving. I don't want to quit driving it. It's so much fun. Well, I have a feeling I get a few tickets in this one. Oh, I'm sure. Holy Noise smoke. ordinance, maybe. <laughs> Noise ordinance and speed. Well, we're, that's the end of our ride. And, you know, uh, usually we like to give you some heads ups of some things to look for on your first initial hop into the vehicle. And uh, I think you'll be just like us. If you test drive one of these, you'll be like, ah, I don't care if the air works. Ah, I don't care if it has stereo. Ah, I don't care if it has whatever else as long as I can hear it sing. Oh, and, and on top of that, it's packed with features. It really is. We'll go over those on the inside when we do the inside review. But hey, folks, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel down below. Click on the bell above to get notifications and uh, subscribe. Yep. If you like, and uh, hit the like button down below if you like the video. And leave some comments down below if you've test drove one of those these and uh, really couldn't bear taking it back and handing the keys back over to the dealer. Yeah. <laughs> or Let us know. If you bought one and you want to share that information with us too. Anything you could do to help the buying public understand more about this car, but I got to tell you, it's pretty cut and dry, Nathan. It's uh, get oh, in it and floor it. There's just no, no question. I was sold the minute I heard that exhaust <laughs> and then when I hit the accelerator, I was double sold. I don't know if that's possible. But oh, sure. You're going to buy two. I'm going to buy two of them. <laughs> There are 10 trim level configurations for the Mustang for 2019. From the base Echo Boost Fastback starting at $26,395 to the Shelby GT 350R starting at $67,135. This is the GT Premium Convertible starting at $44,855. Powering this baby is a 5 liter TIVCT V8 producing 460 horsepower, 420 pound foot of torque. Has dual high pressure direct injection and low pressure port fuel injection. There's a 6 speed manual transmission with rev matching or an optional 10 speed select shift automatic transmission. And this vehicle does have the automatic transmission. City fuel economy is 15, highway 24 combined 18. Good luck with that, folks, because you're going to want to hear this thing sing to you and you're going to keep your foot to the pedal. On the front end, there are LED headlights, LED signature lighting. There are LED front park turn lamp lamps and LED fog lights. There are daytime running lights, there are hood vents, and the mirrors are body colored. They're heated with integrated blind spot mirrors and turn signal indicators. There are 18 by 8 inch machine faced aluminum wheels with high gloss ebony black painted pockets. 
Now you can have optional nine inch by eight and a half inch, uh, 19 inch, excuse me, by eight and a half inch polished aluminum or 20 inch by nine inch premium painted aluminum. They are either on P255 40R19 front and the rear or P275 40R19 rear summer tires only. The front has 14 inch brake rotors with four piston calipers and the rear 13 inch brake rotors with single piston cali calipers. Now the front suspension is double ball joint McPherson strut with stabilizer bar. The rear integral link independent with coil springs and stabilizer bar. Shocks are hydraulic gas pressurized outboard mounted. Now you do have the electric line lock which is track use only independent rear suspension, launch control, that requires manual transmission for track use only, and a 3.55 limited slip rear axle. There is a raised blade rear deck spoiler, dual exhaust with quad tips, easy fuel capless fuel filter, LED sequ sequential tail lights, and you see a rear diffuser. See the backup light there as well. And you got the backup camera. And then there's your antenna also. This vehicle rides on a 107.1 inch wheelbase. Its overall length is 189.6 inches. Its height with the top up, 54.2 inches. Overall width, 81.9 inches. Front track, 63.3 inches rear track 63.7 trunk volume is 11.4 cubic feet fuel capacity is 16 gallons and its curb weight is 3891 pounds and you can see your trunk capacity there and now the top is down so the top really doesn't uh, take up a lot of trunk space they've done a really good job of uh, engineering that to where you still get trunk space as well I'm going to invade on Nathan's territory a little bit. I'm going to give you a quick shot of the interior, but he'll, he'll give you an overview and a, a complete review of that in just a little bit. But you know, I love it. I love the lines. It's classic Mustang. You know, when they retroed this car back in, oh, oh five, I think it was, um, they did an awesome job with it and it's only gotten better. This just harkens back to the original Mustang but uh, and then in the later uh, 60s as well but with awesome awesome amounts of attitude to it now i've got to say i love the front end love the pony still the same pony it's always been still there galloping except nowadays he's running quite a bit faster love the uh, headlights design you got the front lower spoiler there as well like the overall design, the classic looks of it. Love the hip line on it, uh, where it starts here at the headlights, runs all the way, way back through to this hip line here. And I really like what they've done with the top. The forward part of the folding top, when the top is down, acts as the hard tonneau cover uh, to conceal the top when you've got the top down. That's really cool, I like that a lot. You can see on the door handle, you've got the uh, little lines there when you got the key the proximity key in your pocket I'll get to this side just get my shadow off of it you can see it there uh, that's where you can lock and unlock the car absolutely beautiful vehicle I will say that uh, I did notice earlier a very sexy line in this that I've never noticed it before and I'll start you at the very front where you can see that and it's if you'll see this black piece right here on the grill it leads right up and you've got this line and this line comes back and it's got this sexy curve in it let me get out of the shot i'm putting a shadow on it but right there and then it flows back along the the window and back around to the other side and back down to the grill that's fantastic absolutely love it that's a review of the outside of the car. And so Nathan, why don't you go ahead and show the folks the inside of this magnificent car. All right, come on inside, let's take a look. All right. All right, so starting on the inside, driver's door here of the 2019 Mustang GT at the premium trim level. We have got a three, pos uh, three position memory setting. 
uh, and then your locks. And then uh, one of the features I really like, you know, I mentioned before, I've got I've had three different Mustangs, but the rear windows are now operated on one switch, so you don't have to do both of them. And of course, that that is not auto, but the two front are auto up and down. And then of course you have your mirror controls over here, and the mirrors are heated. And I really like this chrome strip right in the door handle here, and this one right here. Can't really show you, but it does have puddle lights underneath that that, that show a pony, uh, which is really cool. I wish I could see that. But um, all right, moving over to the driver's seat, we've got leather seats here. I love the stitching and the bolstering, and it is a six-way power. So plus lumbar on the driver's side, so you got forward, backwards, you've got up, down, and then you can tilt the front pad by itself. Okay, and then you also have a two-position lumbar here, which it does support your back right there. Hey, underneath the uh, here you've got the uh, aluminum pedals that come with the premium package. You've got a trunk release button right up here. This is your uh, standard Ford light control system. This does have auto lights. Uh, these are your dimming and brightening for your dashboard lights, and then this is your fog lamps. All right, and uh, moving quickly across here, and I'll come back to these things here. But here's the steering wheel. Okay, absolutely loaded with buttons, and we'll go over those. Too many to explain in, in a short little clip here. This does have the optional, I believe it's a 12.3 inch digital display screen, and it's just amazing. It, it is so clear and real looking. Um, you've got in here, I've uh, got an eight speaker sound system, uh, and so you can upgrade to a Bang & Olufsen uh, if you want. And then you've got your climate control down here. And then you've got some selector buttons down here. We'll talk about those in a little bit. And then the this is, a, uh, this is an automatic, a 10-speed automatic. you got dual cup holders here. You've got the traditional emergency brake right here. And then I like it that they have release levers for this on either side. Okay. But inside, you've got uh, ample storage in there. You've got a nice rubber mat in the bottom. You do have a USB plug-in and a 12-volt outlet plug-in right there, as well as a spot to keep pens. Right, and then we'll hop over to the passenger side. All right, passenger door here, pretty similar, except for the, of course, a single window control, lock on lock buttons, dual speakers in the doors. You also have tweeters sitting up here on either side. Okay. On the passenger side here, I really like how this is soft wrapped. Uh, it's a very nice feel and the stitching looks nice. Then down here, again, you've got a four-way power seat. So it's forward, backwards, and then up and down on the passenger side. But the same really nice leather, same nice bolsters and the perforated leather in the middle. Okay. And then, of course, the glove compartment here. Open that up. And then you've got your book manual is kind of laid down inside here so you've got a little bit of room here to store things okay and then we'll take a look at the back quickly okay back here you've got two very uh, well cushioned seats with a lot of uh, support on them um, as you can tell back there like I said earlier the Mustangs aren't really meant to carry four passengers for very far um, but I tell you what these seats look way more comfortable than the ones I have. And then you can see the rear speaker sitting there and there's one on each side. So I'm gonna step in here a minute. So here I am in the back of the Mustang GT and the seats are definitely much more bolstered than, than mine are. Mine are kind of flat. Uh, there's a little bolster, but not much. But um, very comfortable. Uh, it would be for a short trip uh, or it would be good for kids or you know, tell them to bring their own car. All right. Uh, but very nice. The the you can see that the roof here, okay. I'm I'm five foot eleven and a half, and my cap is you know if I if I sit like this I'm not touching, and if I lean back a little bit then I start touching the roof. But without that, I can I can get, I'm touching just a little bit. Same thing on on my Mustang. Um, the cloth the the cloth lining up here. I don't know if I can get a close up if you're really going to see it, but it is really nice. It looks nicer than, than what I have. Okay, I want to show you another feature from, from this so you get a good view of from back here. All right, so right up here, you've got a little handle. 
and that is the only handle you have to use to disengage the top from the windshield and then to put it back again which is really nice my Mustang had a clip on one on each side where's my finger I can't find my finger there we are one on each side okay a little bit of view from the back here again overall with the air conditioning vents the entertainment system those controls and again we'll go over those here in just a minute overall very nice interior uh, much more muffled when the top is up because the, the top has got some insulation in it um, you can definitely still hear the exhaust but it's it's muted from <laughs> definitely from having the top down all right so we're going to step back in the front and i'm going to go over some of the uh steering wheel controls and the infotainment system and the climate control and, and the really nice digital instrument cluster please and so let me show you what it looks like when you start it up if this is a push start by the way oh you gotta like that oh the little ghost pony appears i love it okay and so basically i know on, on this side here um, i've got my rpms and then i've got my miles per hour along with my digital miles per hour in the in the middle of the circle and then um, let's get rid of that sign there and then of course you've got this your basic information you got your temperature outside temperature up here you've got your compass up here it says east and then you've got what's playing on the radio and then down here you got your trip meter you got your uh, gear indicator and then you've got uh, how many miles you have left till empty and then of course at the bottom you have a heat gauge for your engine and you have a uh, fuel gauge okay so let's take a look at, at a couple of the modes um, that come on this screen so first of all you notice a little car emblem down at the bottom okay so whatever mode you're in that a little emblem will show up right there so let's switch modes. so the first time and i'm going to do that because that is the far right switch over here and i and you can't push them down it's always an up up push so here i go here's well, first of all it'll come back to normal then i'm gonna switch it Okay, then it's in Sport Plus, you notice that the dash changes. If I flick it up again, I can go to track mode. Now I get a different readout, and of course they want you to, you only use the track ma uh, mode at a track, and there's some information on the in the driver's manual about that. Okay, the next mode is the drag strip, and again, they want you to look at the um, owner's manual to see uh, information on that, so please do that if you buy one and then we'll go here to snow or wet okay and that kind of comes back to where we are now and then if i go back to here i'm back to normal so those are the different modes you also have the next toggle switch right here is for your steering so if i bring it up once i'm in normal steering if i flick it again i got sports steering and if i go again i've got comfort steering so you can select which ones you want okay um, over here the last the next button over is traction control on or off so if you hit it it'll tell you if traction control is off and you just press OK uh, and then traction control on and as usual with Ford displays you just press OK the message goes away and the last button here is simply your hazards okay um, now let's go back to the steering wheel a minute because we have just a plethora of buttons on here so real basically um, up here you've got your volume for your media and uh, plus and minus uh, you've got a mute button right here and then you got a, like a track forward or track backward button uh, right here down below is your cruise control so you have on off okay and the minute that you set that you see that little uh, right up where the mile digital miles per hour are okay then you have resume and cancel refocus here a second then you have resume and cancel right next to that and then set and then plus or minus for increasing your miles per hour okay so then over here you have your gap setting for your uh, adaptive cruise control so this will lessen it and this will increase it you just kind of look at the little circle down there I can decrease it and or I can increase it okay moving over to the right this one has to do with more of your main functions in your car as far as your media system so right here you have your phone you have navigation over here you have your settings so that you can change what you see 
in the middle. And then if I use these up and down arrows, I can toggle through that. So here's my tire pressure. Here's my fuel economy. Here's trip two, here's trip one. I'm kind of going backwards. And then you're back to a blank screen. For some reason, Ford puts a blank screen in between uh, the, the first display and the last display. But that's, that's kind of nice, kind of lets you know you're at the end. Over here, of course, you have your turn signals left and right. The other thing you have on here is your lane keeping assist, and that is this little button at the very end. And if you look at um, where it says miles per hour, and you I click it on, you know those two little lines coming as alongside the adaptive cruise control gap setting. And that's where that's turned on. You also, of course, have your high beams over there. Right over here, you've got your windshield wipers. Okay. And then uh, let's let's just uh, look up here quick. Uh, this is an auto dimming rear view mirror. This is where your um, roof controls are to lower and raise your top. And you have your, of course, your courtesy lights up here. You've got your home link buttons up here. And then, of course, both visors have uh, lit mirrors. And they are both telescoping mirrors. Down here, you've got your uh, 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 touchscreen uh, infotainment center. And it does come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and you can see we won't go into all of them here. But you got you know you got sound, you got your clock, Bluetooth, phone, um, your Ford Pass Connect, mobile apps, navigation, which this does come equipped with navigation, voice activated navigation too, um, and then Sirius XM, and then down here you've got some shortcuts as well. All right, so now down here. Um, you have physical controls for your steering. You've got volume over here. You've got tuning over here. And then you've got some other physical buttons. You've got the power. You've got the seek left, seek right, or forward or backwards, play, pause. And then if you bring up that button here, it brings up the graphic equalizer. All right, let's move down here. These are heated and cooled seats. Right now I've got the cooled seats on, and they do work. They feel very nice today. Uh, but you can also have three-stage heating. I'm going to leave that one on. This is where you set your temperature manually if you don't want to use the screen. So here you have your max defroster, power on or off, max AC, uh, regular AC, auto climate control, recirculatory. So here's your fan speed. This is a rear window defroster and then the front defroster. Okay, so you do have lots of physical controls. On the passenger seat, you can see they have heated and cooled seats here as well. You do have a USB port down here as well as a 12 volt outlet right there. Okay. You have your shifter back here which has a push top on it so you put the brake on, push that down and you can shift it into drive or you can go down into sport mode. Yes folks, that is my favorite thing of this car. And my favorite thing is the fact that it is a gorgeous convertible. <laughs> oh man. Okay, wait, no, no, no. Wait, let me get my seatbelt on. <laughs> I don't want him driving without my seatbelt fast. Oh, but I oh say, man. Say, this is the car that could not sit in the driveway. No. You it, would be out constantly just to hear it. I, I may sit in the house on rainy days and pout. <laughs> that I can't take it out and put the top down.